Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to talk about exponential regression. Uh, in module eight, we talked about linear regression where we were given a set of data points and we found, uh, we created the scatter plot in our calculator and we wanted to find a line that best fit this uh, set of data points. All right, and so today we're gonna be a given a set of data points that are um, where we wanna find a curve that best fits that set of data points. Okay, and so let's, uh, an exponential regression equation is an equation of the form f of x equal to a times b uh, raised to the x power, which is our standard uh, formula for an exponential function. And it closely approximates a set of data points that exhibit uh, exponential behavior or an exponential relationship. Okay, and so what I wanted to review re really quickly is the correlation coefficient. So remember, in order for our uh, line to be a best fit line, we wanted a correlation of negative one if our data was um, decreasing and positive one if our data is increasing. And those are strong cor uh, correlation coefficient um, coefficients. Okay, and so remember, if it's weak, that um, it's going to be, if it's a negative weak correlation coefficient, then our value of R is going to be between 0 and negative 1. And if it's um, a weak positive correlation coefficient, our value is of R is going to be between 0 and 1. With our data points loosely fit around, very loosely fit around our line of best fit. Okay. So let's actually take a look at an example um, of a set of data points where we want to find the curve of best fit or an exponential regression equation for um, the curve that's going to best fit this set of data points. Okay, so we're, gonna, um, we're going to grab our calculator um, and we're going to input this set of data as um, list. Okay. All right, so uh, let's just remember that we want to clear out our calculator. So we want to uh, press second, mem712, and enter, and it will clear out our calculator for us. And now to get to our list, we want to press stat, and we're going to go to edit, and it takes us to our list, and we want to enter our uh, data points. Okay, so it's going to be in L1, we're going to have 0 through 6. And in list two, we're going to have our um, actual, the number of internet hosts in millions. Okay, so we're going to have 110, uh, 147, 172, 233, 318, uh, 395, and 433. Okay, so we've created our list, and now we want to actually go in and turn on our stat plot. So we're going to hit second, and y equals, that gives, takes us to our stat plot. And you see right now all of our plots are off. So we want to hit enter and we want to turn the plot on. So hit enter. And then we want to pick the very first uh, type of where it just gives us our data points for our scatter plot. Okay. And so we can go to graph. And so right now we're on our standard viewing window. So you don't see anything. Remember to get to your scatter plot, you press zoom and then uh, nine and that will take you directly to your scatter plot. Okay, and so now we're given this set of data, we've created our scatter plot, and now we want to find an actual um, exponential regression equation for it that best fits this uh, scatter plot. Okay, so let's go to stat, and then we wanna go uh, press the right arrow key and go to calculate, and we want to scroll down until we find exponential uh, regression, which is going to be uh, zero, and press enter. And so it will take you to the screen. And you want to make sure that your X list is going to be uh, list one and your Y list is list two. So you're going to press enter, enter, enter. And you want to store this regression equation that we find in your graph, um, in your graphing plot so that we can actually see the line the, or the curve graphed 
on our actual scatter plot. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna press second, alpha, uh, and trace, and we want Y1, so we're gonna press enter, and then we're gonna press enter again, and enter again, and it's gonna calculate our uh, exponential, uh, exponential regression equation, which you see there. Okay, and so I've taken a screenshot of this. Um, and so let's go back to our, um, our data. And so our exponential regression equation, um, I'm gonna write on top of our chart because we wanna use that to find our predicted values and also to find our residuals. Okay, so we're gonna place our exponential regression equation above our chart. So we're gonna have y equals two, and I'm gonna round my value of a to the uh, nearest whole number. So that's gonna be 113 times 1.27 for the value of b raised to the x. Okay, and we're gonna use this equation, remember, to uh, find our predicted values. So we take our inputs, our x, and we plug them into this equation. Um, to find our predictive values, and then we're going to uh, find our residuals by doing the actual value minus the predictive value. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calculator to actually find these values. Okay, so we're going to grab the calculator, and I'm going to remember that we've stored um, this exponential regression equation in our plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, our y equals, and it's there for you. It's going to be stored. And then I'm going to go to the table. So we're going to press second graph to get to our table. And you can see the values there that we need to uh, fill in our table. Okay, so let's do that. Let's fill in our table. Okay, so we've grabbed our, our predictive values from our table um, on our graph of our exponential regression equation. And we found the residuals. Okay, and so if you look at the um, values of the residuals, we see that our residuals are really small until we get around to x equals four, uh, five, and six. So when you look at your graph of your exponential regression line on top of your scatter plot, you should see that um, that line is really gonna fit your, or the curve is really gonna fit your set of data points and but it gets a little weaker and weaker as you get further away from your initial value okay so let's look at that all right so let's go to we have our table let's actually go to y equals two we have our thing and we're gonna uh, have our function and we're going to go to the graph okay and you see it's graphing the actual um, exponential regression line and if you look um, the curve actually fits our data points very well uh, at our initial value and our beginning values until you get around to four or five or six. And then as the residuals um, show, the curve does no longer, it, it falls apart from our actual data points. Okay, and so that is the end of today's lesson.